Hello folks, welcome back to the desk. We're on a wobble. This is a quick look at the Sticky Brick Labs OG. I have recently managed to get to grips with this completely. So that means it's time to show you all how it functions, how it works, how I've got the best out of it. Maybe some little surprises along the way, who knows? Let's find out together, like family. Now obviously I've already opened this, and I've already used this, I've got to grips with this, but I just wanted to show you what you get when you open the box. Uh, obviously you get everything bubble wrapped all the glass parts individually wrapped but what you get is a bag of extras you get a metal stir stick a couple of wooden stir sticks and the stir sticks have a nice little holder within the unit itself and see down there that's where part of the vapor path is but that's not all wooden vapor path that little bit down in there that little channel right down in there that's about the only wood that the vapor actually goes through so if you were looking at thinking of cleaning it that's about the only section right down in there that's going to get any build up and you can get down in there with this you don't want to be using ISO on wood but you could certainly scoop out any gunk in there so if you're thinking about scorching and combusting and getting that flavour tainting all of the device with that flavour it's only that little bit there that you'd be tainting really so there's only kind of this section here that you'd be tainting because you have an o-ring that goes in the top bit or does if your fingers work and then this is your mouthpiece and you can see where there's a line on it there where the o-ring's been sitting before so we can place it so there's only that bit there an inch easier to get these things in if you just wet the outside slightly and then they slide in past the o-ring quite easily and that's your mouthpiece this is your air intake your heat intake i should say now there's a special thing going on in here we'll get to that in a second this is your bowl there's a carb hole there and that is the air path through there so the only other bit of wood is underneath the screen which which is kind of there down to here because from there you have this bit of metal going into there so I usually put things on put it on sideways and then do that otherwise you find your it's, it can come out your hands quite easily so magnets magnets rare earth magnets clamps together really easily really nicely so yeah uh, this bit of metal which is the air path as well that comes out so you can clean that you can see where it stops in there and you can see where it stops in there so there's very small amount of wood, but that wood that is part of the air path means you can taste the wood using the device. It does diminish over time because obviously you get that buildup of reclaim on that tiny bit of wood's vapour path. So in some ways you're seasoning it and it's better to leave it unless it gets ridiculous, obviously. In the extras, you get a couple of bungs, bungs, and these are for blocking up carb hole in case you didn't need to use it or you feel you didn't want to use it. Maybe if you were using concentrates, which you can do in this as well to help you do that they give you a concentrate pad but i think with what i've discovered in the last few days could probably get away with using hemp fiber for a dab and have a cleaner tasting dab than the metal concentrate pads i find they impart a bit of a flavor the metal and you get a bunch of screens as well obviously and quite a few screens in the accessories you get two of these you get two of those and what they're for is this so that is your heat intake and there's the o-ring to go with with it inside it's normally just straight through quite a big hole going straight through into the bowl and I've been kind of struggling with this I've been trying to get the hang of it and I've been struggling to not combust and I've been struggling to not be giving too little to the bowl and getting inconsistent results this makes all the difference and this when I had one of these back in the day this didn't exist you put this in there this is known as a restrictor disc you put it in there in the heat intake and some weird miraculous thing happens where it restricts the amount of heat that you you can get through but also clearly maybe that's what the threading's for it clearly moves the heat around and lets it circulate easier that's what this hole is for it causes a disruption so the heat is moving around more not just going in one straight direction but it clearly isn't going to do enough when you're shoving a massive great torch flame in there now the torch that comes with it is this and that's quite a pointed flame so that's quite a lot of heat that you're sucking down through there so it going straight through into the bowl yeah that was giving me issues but the strangest thing the darndest thing happened just putting that little restrictor in just that the little restrictor that narrows that hole down a little bit more means 
the bowl now I have to try really really hard to get it to singe or combust to the point where I'm finding it difficult to do that and I'm getting consistent results every single time and not just that I'm not just getting consistent results with this single flame which still gives me um, slower results let's say the bowl is slower to react I can use it with this beast and still not burn it, still not singe it, still get a fantastically clean tan coloured bowl and full extraction. Let me show you what I mean. So we have some Therismos Atlantic glue here, 29% THC. We've got a full scoop from recommended vape supplies and that's about equivalent to one and a half of the small plastic scoops that I've been using that came with the cannabis hardware grinder that's going to be up for giveaway on the channel very soon. Great little scoop, got a smiley face tamper on the end. Don't think you need it, but I'm tamping this down ever so slightly. Haha, <laughs> you see that? The magnets are fantastic. The OG Brick is a home portable that provides 100% true convection on demand. Ready when you are, the OG Brick provides instant heat and instant vapour. No more waiting! Each Sticky Brick is handmade in North Carolina out of beautiful natural hardwood. The Sticky Brick's hardwood construction isn't just for looks, it ensures longevity to produce vapour for years to come. This stem is it's thick as fuck mate, that's not going to break. This is a bit thinner, but it's still quite thick. Top quality Cymax borosilicate glass offers pure flavour, increased durability over standard glass. Each piece of the OG brick is securely held together with rare earth magnets, allowing for nearly effortless maintenance. The OG brick's elegant form and instant performance sets it apart from anything else available. As with all of our devices, we proudly offer a lifetime warranty on the wood body and 15 days on the glass parts. But the various woods that they come in are beautiful. I particularly like the black limber. Purple heart is always lovely. The walnut's lovely, which is what I've got. But the black limber is I'll show you it. That's the black limber. That's great. Yeah, black limber all the way for me. Yeah. And obviously you can buy all these parts separately as well. They obviously have been around for quite a while. They were great communicating with me. $180 for this little beauty. Yeah, once you get the knack of this, it's consistent hits and it tastes lovely and it's fun to use. Reminds me of a bong, reminds me of a pipe. The only reason I got rid of mine back in the day is because I couldn't get to grips with it very easily and that was before the restricted discs had come out. But now it's like like this. Yeah, and that's still just a tan colour, browning a little bit. So the knack is as well, with every angle you give the flame, it's going to get hotter or cooler. So if you're pulling the air in completely sideways like that, pulling the heat in, it's going to be cooler and take longer for the bowl to heat up. If you start tipping it in, as you're drawing it in, the flame's going to become more direct into the bowl and therefore give off vapour quicker. But you're also, you're then starting to play with how much flame gets directly to the bowl and whether it's going to burn or char. Once you start seeing the vapour coming through the mouthpiece, you know to consider slowing down and consider what you're doing or taking your finger off the carb hole or... Let's try it this way, let's see, hopefully you can see this better. I rest my case, my lord. Perfect, even extraction. No hot spots, no singeing, no burning. Perfect, even extraction. I don't think that's complete extraction yet, but because that's so much easier to use now, that's much more fun to use. This is great. I now love this. I absolutely love this. Now look out on the stem for the vapor coming through. Perfect. What did we get? Just slightly browner. Oh, that was a bit harsher. So that would say to me that we're getting to the slightly higher temperatures to be able to produce paper. I'm not really a fan of dosing capsules in general. I find all of them fiddly and irritating and they reduce flavour. But I also understand how convenient they could be for other people and I would find them convenient if they weren't so fucking fiddly and didn't reduce flavour. One of these fits perfectly in the sticky brick OG brick bowl. 
And you see what I mean? I've said this and I'll be saying this on other videos. I like the idea of equalizing the amounts I'm vaping in every device. So I always know what kind of dose I'm getting. I can get the same amount in the Mighty, in the OG Brick, in the microdosing bowl for the Ruby Twist. Same amount that goes in Fat Piggy. Same amount that goes in Dynavap. Same amount that goes in the Tiny Mite 2 bowl. And that way again, it's easier to maintain what I'm doing. It's easier to then start considering micro dosing it's easier then to start reducing my dose if I need to get my tolerance down in some way for instance I know that if I need two bowls on the tiny but tiny mite too it's going to be exactly the same as needing two bowls on this or two bowls on this or two bowl two capsules here or two bowls in here all going to be the same and if I feel my tolerance is getting too high at having to do those two bowls I can cut down to one and it's going to be really simple to do instead of having to weigh everything out or gauge how much is in this giant thing or gauge how much is in this giant thing on the desktops and I can leave those desktops those giant bowls for the appropriate time when I'm desperate to get to sleep my hands are playing up or my ankles playing up or whatever other elements myself and other people might have and that's a useful way to do these things but anyway back to the brick let's see if there's anything left in this The answer is yes. So I half emptied it. So this is some lighter colour stuff that was at the bottom of the bowl. And that's very smooth. One of these scoops as well came with this grinder. That's the same as Dynavac bowl. I think it's just under Tiny Mite, etc, etc. Whereas obviously this scoop is considerably larger. Neither, neither are magnetic. Both of them. Either of them. Both of them. They both need to be magnetic. They both should have a magnet in the bottom. I'd have to glue one on or something. It'd be great if it's to the grinder or a hey, scoop that stuck to the side of that either of them. Anyway, I reckon there's going to be even more in this. More in this. That was still all vapour. That was still very good vapour. And again, surprisingly smooth. That restrictor disc is a complete game changer for the for the brick range, definitely. It's, it's, I don't know how they found that idea, but it just has made all the difference. It's like night and day. It's been a few weeks I've been trying to get to grips with using this without the restrictor disc in. But this is, uh, this is clearly idiot proof because I'm an idiot. Yep, and I would say, oh my god, it's still only a vague tan colour. That still doesn't necessarily look like it's dead. Oh, that has, that has hit me as well. That's hit me like a rhythm stick. It's also about having in the outer flame, it's more kind of up here, the tip of the outer blue flame, and you're just gently pulling that in. But yeah, you only just want that touching, that outer blue flame touching the air intake. You want to keep the inner blue flame away. With the adding of that restrictor disc, that makes all the difference. It's incredible. So, what we've got here, another one of their range. Oh yeah, I forgot to say in that with the sticky brick as well, with the OG brick, you get a torch lighter as well. Prefer my three-pronged lighter, but that's just my personal preference. So again, you get a little stirry stick, you get your concentrate pad, extracts pad, you get a whole bunch of screens, you get a metal stir stick, two wooden stir sticks, you get your bung, for the carb hole and you also get the restrictor disc. Sticky Brick Junior is our butane powered portable measuring 4.5 inches tall, 3 inches wide and 1 inch thick. It will fit right in your pocket or bag to take on the go. The protective cap secures with the same extra strong rare earth magnets that we use in all of our devices. As with all of our sticky bricks, the wooden body and the glass are worked by hand right here in our workshop. The Junior comes complete with the aforementioned accessory pack. So that's one I used to own as well. That was a great device as well. I think I had that in Walnut as well. Anyway, don't need to reminisce about that and just show you pictures. I've got one here I can show you. So this comes 
is a nice all-in-one mysterious device for ease of for discretion for hiding in a drawer or on a bookshelf we're just in with some books however what have we got going on here we've got a carb hole your face is a carb hole we've got the intake hole to disrupt the airflow and give it a bit of a swirl and as you can see we've got moving parts going on the stuff going on so let's take this bit off this is the lid that hides everything <gasps> would you look at that so what have we got going on we've already got a stir stick in here stir stick a stir stick we've already got a stick stir stir stick in here so what you do is this is your heat intake that ensures that you're never going to get the flame properly directly unless you jam it right in there but you're never going to get it hitting the load so it makes it more difficult to scorch it than if it was just a straight down heat intake obviously this is your mouthpiece now the same thing in there oh you can see i've already put one in to show it there's the restrictor disc exactly the same as it's on the og brick in here twist it to open it up and then you can take it apart so you've got the air path down there you've got a little bit of wood going along there that's going to be the air path that contains wood and then from there on you're on glass this is the bowl it's quite a big bowl if we look at the one hitter the micro dosing bowl from the ruby twist quite a bowl different size there for effectively a small portable that's quite a decent bowl size so yeah your carb caps just below the bowl to put it back together snap that magnet on if you do it that way and go straight on you're going to end up with it snapping and potentially the bowl going everywhere and blah 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 so i always found it was easier to put one on and slide it across so yeah because the restrictors in there same thing get your lighter that comes torch lighter that comes free in with the accessory pack put it in there don't let the inner flame cross the boundary make sure the tip of the outer flame is only just hitting the intake and you should hear that whistling noise a little whistle to let you know you're on the right track and then open and close the carb cap as required as desired you should see vapor coming through here so yeah it's a great little device amazing ingenious design the little scoopy tool back in there being able to use it with concentrates because obviously with it being butane powered and uh, literally flame powered you can just shove more flame in there if you want to, so it will work with concentrates as well and then having a protective cap for all the glass great just fantastic so yeah you know it's a decent chunky size it's only a, it's only a little bit chunkier than my phone it's a little bit wider and obviously a bit thicker so why am i not demoing this why am i not showing you how it works why am i packing it back up why am i not open the accessory opening the accessory pack and just giving a demo of it since i've got one why would i not do that well for someone out there it's theirs and i don't want to sully it with anything i've already opened it to make sure it's all intact and all there and to be able to show you it so i don't want to use it but this is for one of you lot out there this is a giveaway for a sticky brick labs junior tell you what though it's getting on for christmas isn't it so how about give another one away as well so that's another sticky brick labs junior to give away these are both worth 156.95 dollars oh this one's got a red torch lighter in it so yeah it's exactly the same though apart from that not going to get that one out i'll announce the winner of this on sunday the 15th of december please uh have all your entries in by midnight on saturday the 14th we'll be announcing the winner drawing the winners at any point on sunday so if you leave it until sunday the 15th well, i'm very likely to miss your entry and you all have fucked it for yourself um how do you enter well you need to make sure you subscribed you need to make sure you hit like you need to make sure you share the video somewhere so the last thing you need to do to enter is put in the comments whether you want the red lighter or the orange lighter so in the comments put i want the red lighter or put i want the orange lighter you need to be uk based a uk medical patient one of these could be yours uh, i highly recommend the og bricks it's, it's great i've been using it way more than i was expecting to and now it's become absolutely idiot proof and again then the winner will be announced on the fifth Sunday the 15th of December and I will do my best to get it out that week both of them first class so you get them for Christmas that's two people on the channel getting an awesome butane apocalypse vape each 
complete kit. Everything that you need is in there. You'll need to buy some butane. That needs filling, that's it. It will be a joy to send these out to someone. Thank you for watching. Have a great week, folks. I'll have another flower review up as soon as I can, but I wanted to get this giveaway up because I'm running out of time to give these giveaways long enough before we get to Christmas. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Tune in again soon for more flower reviews, more looks at vaporizers and vaping equipment. And thank you for watching. It's really appreciated. Stay medicated. Speak to you soon.